Cinema Lovers Club's official Us review. Synopsis, a masterpiece of identity horror and dark reflection on America's past with chilly atmospherics, originality and concept, psychological torment and twists, old world suspense building, and one of the best scorings of modern horror. 9.1 out of 10. A pair of golden scissors. That was all Jordan Peele needed to build hype for his newest nightmare and sophomore follow-up to 2017's psychological race-fueled horror entry, Get Out. And it worked. If Get Out was meant to be an appetizer showing glimpses of skill and greatness the chef was teasing us with for the main course, us is that five-star dining experience we, and the horror genre, have been starved of and waiting in purgatoric line for years for. A masterpiece of identity horror and dark reflection on America's past, with effectively chilly atmospherics, originality and concept, psychological torment and twists, old world suspense building, and one of the best scores in modern horror, Us has cemented Jordan Peele as one of the best new directors in the game. Let's start with the score since it's so unbelievably good. Since I first heard that spooky, slowed concerto remix of Lunitz's Five on it in the trailers and Peele's motivations and classics he wanted to pay homage to, from Psycho to Jaws to The Shining to The Duke to It Follows, I knew this was going to be something special and different. From its staccato-plucked orchestral themes rife with jarring string aggressions reminiscent of Psycho and Jaws' iconic game-changer stylistically, the soft-balanced, airy quartet melodies, discordantly happy-go-lucky and, sweepingly shy, and sweepingly shining and It Follows-like, plus everything in the middle from tribal drums to hip-hop, the score is breathtakingly original. It might not only be one of the best, most culturally authentic, auteurist scorings I've heard in a horror film post-2000, it might be one of the best and most diverse, skillful, and suspenseful scores I've ever heard in a horror film. It's that good. The score echoes the darkness and effectively chilly atmospherics in Us's visuals, location settings, and concept. The cinematography by Mike Julakas is incredible, with strong compositionally creative shots and camera work from jump cuts to trackers that will make you double take several times at the old world cinematic craftsmanship on display. The location setting is equally phenomenal. Lifting a long unused setting just ripe with horror potential, I'm not sure why it hasn't been explored more, the carnival. From its opening scene in the downright creepy funhouse amidst disorientating mirrors and blue-hued, white-knuckled, heart-pounding suspense that feels positively old world and almost Hitchcockian, you are in for a thrill ride of atmospheric terror that keeps up its psychological macabre and identity crisis until the final reveal and plot twist. The concept is breathtakingly original and brilliant. What could be scarier than a dark reflection of, or evil shadow of ourselves out to get us? A literal personification and ampli amplification of our demons hunting us down in the most brutal of ways with scissors. Beyond that, it also has a lot to say about race, faith, thanksgiving, and the juxtaposition of haves and have-nots too. How there are people suffering across cultures who would kill for the scraps of more privileged folks not even thankful for what they have. Just like in Get Out, Peel's penchant for bringing back imagination and original flair to the horror genre plagued by endless seas of slasher reboots and tense sequels is extremely welcomed by any cinephile. It feels almost time machine-like in nostalgic genre high. The performances and plot structure Lupita Nyong'o delivers one of the strongest performances of her already illustrious career as Adelaide slash Red, showing serious acting chops and range being able to play both far-spectrum ends of personality so believably, and at times, simultaneously. It gets into even physical and primordial emotive power dynamism, with natural feeling authentic reactions to the psychologically disturbing macabre unfolding before her very eyes, marked by serious skill being able to twist her voice into a strained echo and her persona so vividly, truly haunting and wild. Beyond her inimitable lead performance, there is not a weak link in any other supporting performance either, especially young scared Adelaide in that fateful stormy night at the funhouse. Winston Duke's hilarious comic relief gave, bringing serious raw deja vu to get out, and the tethers displaying terrorizing skill being able to play two drastically different, worlds-apart versions of their self so convincingly acting-wise. 
The shrewd two-way reciprocal plot structure also hits high notes unraveling the mystery and story while getting crazier at every turn. As we're immaculately guided from, this, from its faithful opening night's nice cliffhanger to modern day and back full circle before the two finally converge in that unbelievable finale. Finally, the plot twist. One of the most shocking and brilliantly executed turns I've ever seen in modern horror, the final reveal and subversion elevates us into masterwork level. Without revealing... Every expectation we had and are conditioned to have by the laws of storytelling and film conventions are turned on their heads. As we learn, the narrator of the story has a dark secret to tell. We are presented with whom we instantly infer are the good guys, but this rewrite and characterization is a lot more complex than it seems at first glance, while steeped in multi-interpretive symbolism. It directly parallels and alludes to the horrors and dark history of Acts of America, like the genocide of Native Americans, slavery, and racism, the waves of which are still felt by affected populations to this day, as well as sexism. Tried to, tried to be forgotten or covered up by perpetrators like Adelaide's PTSD masking stuffing down of what really happened that night at the carnival, victims are not always that fortunate, sometimes never being able to move on as trapped by the system as tethers underground. The extremely thought-provoking ideology and brilliant glimpse into the have-nots experience and perception, while working in identity horror bolstered by intense symbolic Easter heads like meriting discussion, like pure rabbits mysticism and beauty be eaten bloody for substance, Jeremiah 11.11, the act of being underground itself, and scissors, becoming characteristic of Peel's films in extremely refreshing fashion. Sometimes, sins of our past and our inner demons can, quite literally in this case, come back to haunt us. Incredible. Minor flaws in us include sometimes falling into the MCU trap, as colloquially known in film circles, injecting jarring, sometimes ill-timed or silly humor into serious situations. Worse here since it's a horror film that should be focused more on the scares than silly tethered sounds and gabe jokes. The government experimentation angle could have been a bit more fleshed out and developed as well. Why did they do it? What was the purpose and plan? How? Why was it never heard of? Why did they not have a backup plan? Etc. Although the inclusion to have it be a U.S. government operation is brilliant, once again shining criticizing light on the country's treatment of some minorities and groups across its dark history, it deserved far more exposition. Overall, Us is an absolutely brilliant film. A masterstroke of identity horror, racial experience, and dark reflection on America's past, with effectively chilly atmospherics, unparalleled originality for its time, shocking psychological twists, old world suspense building, and one of the best and most inven inventive horror orchestral scoring than any horror film post-2000, perhaps ever, Peel has established himself as one of the most provocative new directorial talents in the game with his sophomore tour de force steeped in dark, fresh imagination. Bravo, Mr. Peel. Official CLC score, 9.1 out of 10. Like this review? Check out our channel and hit subscribe for all the latest updates and reviews on all the newest and classic films, TV, and gaming. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Cinema Lovers Club, or check out the site itself, cinemaloversclub.com, for a wide library of past reviews while we start publishing them to YouTube. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. And welcome to the club.